Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Bhagavad Gita, chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. And for more video like this, subscribe our channel. As far as the others are concerned, like Jayadratha, Kurtavarma, Salya, etc., all are determined to lay down their lives for Duryodhana's sake. In other words, it is already concluded that all of them would die in the battle of Kuruksetra for joining the party of the sinful Duryodhana. Duryodhana was, of course, confident of his victory on account of the above-mentioned combined strength of his friends. The commander-in-chief of the Kaurava army was Grandsire Bhishma. Apart from being an exceptional warrior, he had an extraordinary boon. He could choose the time of his death. This meant he was practically invincible. Duryodhana felt that under Bhishma's command, their army was undefeatable, whereas the Pandava army was secured by Duryodhana's sworn enemy, Bhima. Hence, he started comparing his grandfather Bhishma's strength with his cousin Bhima. Vinash Kal Viprit Budi, as the proverb goes, which means that when the end draws near, egoistic people indulge in vain glory instead of being humble in evaluating their situation. This tragic irony of fate is reflected here in Duryodhana's self-aggrandizing statement that their army's strength secured by Bhishma was unlimited. However, both Kauravas and Pandavas were Bhishma's grandchildren and as the oldest living member of the Kuru family, he was concerned about their welfare. He was compassionate towards the Pandavas, but was bound by his ethical commitment towards the throne of Hastinapur and its subjects. Therefore, half-heartedly, he led the Kaurava army against them. Bhishma was also aware that in this holy war, along with all the great warriors of the world, the Supreme Lord Krishna himself was present. Lord Krishna was with the Pandavas, which meant Dharma was on their side, and no power in the entire universe could make the side of Adharma win. He had vowed to protect the kingdom of Hastinapur and its subjects, and to fulfill his responsibility towards them, Bhishma led the Kaurava army, even though he was aware of their wrongdoings. This decision of Bhishma accentuates his strength of character and enigmatic personality. 